Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's web whiz video number eight. Now this week is what I consider to be one of the most interesting maths websites around and one that I visit very, very regularly. And for those of you who take part in the TES forum discussions, you'll be very familiar with this one because it's a website that's owned and set up by TES's very own queen of the forums, Casey, otherwise known as Colleen Young. So let's have a look at her fantastic website. So let's Google it. So Colleen young now you know you're doing well if when you google your name you're the first one up there and there she is colleen young colleen young .wordpress.com. now this is essentially a blog but it's so much more than that because there are interactive links put in there and colleen tries to she's taking part in this one blog a week challenge for this year so every single week there's a brand new blog post that gets put up there and it's on a whole range of things but they all share one thing in common they're always absolutely fascinating and really useful things that you can use in the classroom so what i thought i'd do is uh, take you through some of the most recent things that are on there and then pick out some of my favorite bits of this this web uh, this website and I'll probably say it again at the end of the uh, video but I would strongly recommend you sign up for an email subscription and that way posts come once a week and it tells you what the latest things are on the website so if we have a look down one thing that caught my eye that was put on two weeks ago was this filling and pouring. Now this, um, things with real life graphs and stuff I think are dead interesting and some of the students really struggle to picture it and my drawing on the board's pathetic at the best of times. But um, Colleen's found this excellent website here from Clio Resources and if I just, uh, if you click on it, it'll take you straight there but I've just to save a bit of time got it pre-prepared and it's just a nice little thing to get the students to predict what shape that uh, graph would take if we measure height against time and water's dripping into this container and if I click play then fingers crossed all the water starts to appear we can get the students to predict what they think is going to happen once the water reaches this level are we going to get a curve are we going to get a line how's it going to change and blah 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 and you get all your classic shapes there so a nice little thing there and that's kind of an example of the little gems that are all over this site there's an excellent one there on um, relationships between the volumes of solids and um, I really like this one a classic little random name selector where you just copy and paste the names of your students in your class um, onto this little uh, beauty click go and it'll pick out names and all that kind of stuff so it's just nice little time savers like that a um, couple of other things I really like if you um, go to top posts you get um, a bit of a, a feel for the most popular things that Colleen's picked out and one of them is this online whiteboard now I really really like this um, those of you who have kind of been to see me talk or anything will know I'm a massive fan of Jing and indeed this video is um, being recorded with Jing but sometimes it's nice for the students if you can just quickly do an answer to a homework or something and just post it online and um, and you can actually do it even quicker than, than Jing if you use um, this little guide that um, Colleen's put together and one that caught my eye was was this that Colleen linked to and it's this dead dead simple um, online whiteboard where you just you no need to install no need to sign up or any of that stuff you just click start drawing let's have a nice little pencil uh, hello and then if we're doing some kind of equation and we're teaching students how to solve it now it's best if you have a little graphics tablet it's even better to write with i'm trying to do this with the mouse and mind you this is about as neat as my writing gets but you can do a little demonstration of a, of a homework how to solve equations something like that you can hit menu you can save it you can post a link you can email it to your students and they'll see that whole video of you creating that online and it takes about two seconds and it's far more effective than writing notes and photocopying and all that and again i got that from the website which was fantastic and Another of the favorite uh, posts are the rich tasks links and this is just a lovely collection of all the best and most effective rich tasks that are out there so you've got the classic ones from AQA and the Nuffield, Nuffield AMP stuff uh, Colleen's a massive fan like I am of the enrich stuff and it's just nice to have that collection all in one place um, and finally what Colleen's also done is she's put together a maths blog for students so um, any exciting resources specifically for students whether it be games or helps with homework or stuff like that and um, or just just thoughts then they're on this uh, website as well so that's um, mathematics resources for students so I've got my uh, kids signing up for this one 
Um, so yeah, I think it's just brilliant to have a website that's been set up by a teacher. It's kind of different to myself, uh, my website and eMaths and all that kind of stuff, because it's not crammed, packed full of resources to download. It's more just links to really, really interesting, engaging, fresh resources. And as I say, it gets updated once a week and there's always something exciting on there. So I would strongly, strongly, strongly recommend you give this a visit. And I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Colleen, otherwise known as Casey, for putting the time in effort into this because it's a, a fantastic website and that's why it is my whiz web uh, website of the week if you've used this website or you've got some little gems that you've found on there please 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 hop back onto the tes page and share your thoughts and i will be back with a brand new fresh um whiz web video next week bye for now